Hello everybody, it's Agatardi2744 like here today with a new series in which I'll be featuring my top 5 free iOS applications for the iPhone, iPod Touch, as well as the iPad uh, that are both new and old and I'll be featuring them on the channel once a week. So this is going to be a weekly series and if you're interested in seeing more after this, uh, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. First game that we're going to be taking a look at for the iPhone, iPod Touch, as well as the iPad is Neon Beat. Neon Beat is a free application with advertisements, and basically what it is is it's a neon ball running along the edges of the screen. You tap anywhere on the screen to make the ball jump towards the center. The objective is to clear all the blocks in a given level before the timer runs out. Now, there are a few things I really enjoy about this game. First things first, it features 60 levels, 11 different neon balls, and 11 different backgrounds. So there's a lot of customization, a lot of change to it, and the levels are pretty complicated once you get further along in the game. Some of them start off simple, but things get pretty difficult later on in the later 60 of levels. Now, basically, you got the timer in the background, which looks pretty cool, how it just kind of sits back there. It kind of has like a 3D looking feel to it, uh, and the sound effects are really something I enjoy about Neon Beat. I definitely recommend checking it out, available on the App Store, especially since it's free, you really have nothing to lose. So the second application I want to go ahead and talk about is Slam Dunk 2, which is obviously free available on the iOS App Store. There are some in-app purchases for basketball skins as well as uh, coins, but they're completely optional. You really don't need to buy those things, and it doesn't really make you feel like you have to either. So basically, you hustle for cash, level up, and play in tournaments, and become the basketball god. Play with people from all over the world and become the world's best basketball player. Your goal is basically you're on a timer, you're versus another player, and you try to make more points than they do by shooting the basket and actually making it. Uh, and again, there are basketball skins in which you can buy for like 99 cents or something, uh, but you buy coins and then you can buy those. You can also buy those basketball skins by winning in-game money, which is the coins. So the coins can be won in-game or you can purchase them if you're low on them and you feel the need to purchase them. Uh, and again, that is what you can buy the basketball skins with and so on. But your goal is to basically make more points uh, than the person you are versus. There are also eight-person tournaments in which there's a big prize pool. Everybody pitches in a little bit of coins uh, when you first start, and then everything adds up. So the ultimate winner, the winner who beats all other players in that eight-person tournament will take home all the coins. So you're essentially dumping money into it and you're betting that you're going to win and if you do win you're going to take home all those coins that you bet that's the basic goal of slam dunk 2. Now for two games that'll really get you raging I for one prefer games that I can relax at and have fun playing but if you really want to be competitive and if you like Flappy Bird, here's two games that are made by the same developer as Flappy Bird that you might enjoy playing. First things first, Super Ball Juggling. Super Ball Juggling is a stupidly addicting game that is a lot harder than you would ever think. It features similar art styles as Flappy Bird because again, it is made by the same exact developer whose first name is Dong. Just had to say that. Basically, all you do is juggle the soccer ball as it drops. Simple as that, sounds pretty simple, but it's more difficult than you would think. The ball drops faster sometimes, and also uh, there's another player. So once you get higher points, once you get past like 10 points or so, that guy on the right is going to start dropping a ball, and you're going to have to start juggling both of the soccer balls for both of the characters, making it double the complicated and very difficult and frustrating to play. So Shuriken Block is the next game I want to go ahead and talk about. Again, it is by Dong, the developer of Flappy Bird and Super Ball Juggling. Uh, it's free available on the iOS App Store and, of course, features advertisements in the game, which really don't get in the way. But pulls a big profit for the developer, as we learned with Flappy Bird, $50,000 a day, which is insane. But basically, the goal is to block the Shuriken or Ninja Star, Throwing Star, whatever you want to call it, same thing. Uh, that falls above the 8-bit ninja dude's heads. And you have to block it before it hits their head, obviously, because once it hits their head, blood's going to splatter everywhere, and you're going to have a sticky situation. And 
after a few of those ninja stars hit the ninja's heads, uh, you'll end up losing the game. It'll say game over. But they fall pretty fast, and it's more complicated than you think. It's got a simple objective. Just block the throwing stars that are falling above their heads. But it drops really fast, and you have to hit it right on. So it's a very frustrating yet addictive game and competitive game to play against other people and compare scores, which is one thing that makes these games by Dong so addicting. After mentioning those two frustrating games similar to Flappy Bird made by the same developer as Flappy Bird, I want to go ahead and mention Naughty Kitties, which is a more happy game, cheerful game, something you might enjoy playing, you have a little bit of fun with. Uh, here, Naughty Kitties is simply a game, it's a mix between tower defense as well as an endless runner, it's got awesome visuals, I like it, as well as the sound effects, they're pretty awesome. Various upgrades are available for the kittens and can be unlocked throughout your gameplay. Basically what you do is you station cats on a little spaceship and you're fighting aliens. And these are kitties because all the adult cats are, are buried or something. I'm not sure what happened there. But they basically were attacked by aliens and you're on this spaceship and you're, you have kittens fighting against aliens how badass does that sound and that's why i enjoy playing this game it's free available on the app store once again that is naughty kitties so that's that i want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching this is agatardy 2744 if you enjoyed the video hit that like button that's always appreciated share the video with your friends also very appreciated visit in the description below follow me on facebook twitter as well as check out my website quantumgamer.com and my instagram as well as my twitch.tv slash corrupt streams i'm streaming every single day on my Twitch, which is available in the description below. And last but not least, subscribe for more if you want to see this weekly series featuring top five free iOS applications. Thanks again for watching this, I can turn you 2744.